Philly, Philly. Um, what up, world? Um, I want to thank everybody for being here. First, I wanted to, you know, start out by sending uh, my condolences out to the family and loved ones and friends of um, Philly recording artist PNB Rock, who was um, killed yesterday in um, Los Angeles, California. Um, my heart goes out to his family and friends. I know what it's like to lose um, somebody young that you um, were hopeful for. So my condolences, sincere condolences to you and your family. Um, God bless. Um, that being said, so, um, you know, with so, with so many of you are here for <laughs> um, the title and the description, um, you know, why I don't do Christian hip hop or why I say I don't do Christian hip hop. Um, I've never really explained it in a video format where people can kind of see and hear um, and kind of feel where I'm coming from. But I guess we could start here. Um, the conversation has been going on, you know, the title, the label, the genre, the community of people, of Christians and music um, that subscribe to the idea of Christian hip hop as opposed to um, being a Christian and saying you do hip hop, you're, you rap, you do, you do hip hop because to me, whether you say you do Christian hip hop or not, I mean, you're a Christian and you rap, so you're a Christian that does hip hop. Whatever your content is, is another thing. And I think that a lot of times the content of an artist has become that, well, the music or title has been defined based on the content, um, not the title of the person. So I think that you know, on one on one side of the coin, that could be a good thing, and it could be uh, very specific, you know, to what it is. Uh, I think we would have to get into, you know, a conversation with some other people probably to even really navigate it properly to see what it really is, um, that being Christian hip hop. So for me, it's like this. I'll put it to you like this. Um, when I came out, my first album, Pages of Life. Well, actually, it wasn't even an album. It was it was an EP. It was like six songs and um, a couple interludes, an intro, an, out, an outro. So it felt kind of dense, you know what I mean, and weighty, especially based on the type of production it was um, and it being, you know, content-driven, you know, lyrical, you know, content. Um, it was very specific to what I feel like is hip-hop. You know, I think for me and my vantage point, I personally look at hip hop and Christian hip hop as two different things. Um, and I think that may be the reason that some people are getting confused. Um, a lot of people get where I'm coming from when I say I don't do Christian hip hop, but there's a lot of people obviously who don't understand. Um, some of the assumptions have been um, Jafiah is ashamed of the gospel. Um, Jafiah is ashamed of uh, to be a Christian, um, Jafiah is um, a few other things that they've that they that they've tried to say in regard to my decision to refrain from labeling my music as Christian hip hop, even though um, you see people in Christian hip hop show me love, post me, uh, platforms post me, um, and things like that. So it's kind of like, well, if you're I've heard the argument as well. Well, if you're not a Christian hip hop artist, why are you sending your music to Christian hip hop sites? Um, and my answer has always been a hey, Christian hip hop. Well, if we want to be honest, Christian hip hop reached out to us, meaning me and my squad, not the other way around, even in the beginning. That's the first part. Second part is whatever community of people post my music, um, if I have a connect or direct contact to those people, I'm going to make sure they have more music from me. Um, I don't look at it as, oh, you say you don't do Christian hip hop, yet you're sending music to Christian hip hop sites. Um, 
to be clear, you know, some someone some someone someone may say, well, what, how are you looking at it? And to be clear, I would say, um, I'm not looking at it in that realm of detail. What I'm doing is sending my music to the people who have already pl pl platformed my music. Um, some of those people are Christians, and some of those people by 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 name list their platforms as Christian hip hop sites. Um, that has no bearing on me though. Like I send the music to the people who post my music. Again, some of those people are Christians. Some of those people are what the Christian community, I don't even call it this, but the Christian community calls the secular hip hop uh, community. Um, whether it be Hip Hop DX, whether it be um, Kevin, has been Kevin Nottingham, allhiphop.com, um, ESPN. Um, I mean, I could I can name other people, or if we want to go with or even Herb Magazine when that was out, um, or we can go with Christian platforms like Rapzilla um, and different, you know, places and spaces like that. So for me, it's always been about the culture I come from um, and the culture I come from being an art form as well and that culture being hip hop culture. So hip hop culture to me is an art form. It's not just a culture. It's a it's a place for people who are creatives oftentimes. Um, even if you're not a creative, creative, there's a space for people who are just from the culture um, and, and have been fans of hip hop, right? So for those who, like myself who are creatives, me coming from hip hop culture, um, I never really looked at it as a thing where it was like, okay, I'm trying to fix this. Um, I never really looked at it as a thing like, um, okay, so um, now because I'm a Christian and I do music, um, I have to now assimilate and remove myself from hip hop, the culture that I'm indigenous to, and now replant myself in Christian hip hop because essentially that's what it was. That's what I had to do um, early on. So I didn't think that that was something that was happening, but I started seeing the things that we were doing and that we seemingly needed to do um, to um, communicate within the confines of the Christian industry for people who liked rap music. You know, um, it was something that I kind of had to, I felt like compromise on in regard to my culture, you know? And I think that for me, I told a friend of mine, Christian hip hop to me, the idea of it is okay. But when you start getting into the specifics of what it is and what it isn't, and if you don't fit in that, what it looks like, it seemed very colonistic to me, um, like colonial. It seemed like, um, a colonizer's industry, you know? Um, and that's not to say that hip hop isn't that as well. But when I think about Christian colonialism, um, I think Christian hip hop is, um, has had a subtext of that for me personally. I won't say what it has been to anyone else, but for, to me and for me, it has been um, something that has carried a heavy sub subtext of colonialism to me because what it does is it, it 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 desires to remove you from your culture and now push you into their culture for you to be able to communicate to those people um and those people are you know like me they're christian yet our culture is completely different so um early on i started noticing that and i said that that's where i tap out you know if you know i even think i tried it for a while you know to do christian hip-hop especially coming off my first album, Pages of Life. It was a lot of naysayers on, on um, you know, message boards like Holy Culture um, or um, what was that at the time? Hip Hop Zone, I think it was before Holy Culture. Shout out to Holy Culture, those are my guys um, and their um, radio platforms that they got now. Shout out to them, much love to them, those are my guys. Uh, but early on, a lot of the fans in that community and on that, on that message board, it was kind of split down the middle. You would see half of it was um, pro Jafia in my camp and you know the other half was very negative towards me and my camp so um, I saw then that you know this is something that I probably should, should stop trying to um, insert myself into 
and just be myself. You th you think I'm still young, coming off of my first album, going on going into my sophomore release, um, you know, putting out mixtapes with you know by myself and with other artists from my camp, you know, to kind of you know build build a bridge from my first album to my second album. So when I got to my second album, if I'm honest, as genuine and heartfelt as Hell's Diary was and is, um, there was a bit of me trying to prove myself that I was a Christian, you know, to people, because I knew I was. I wasn't trying to prove it to myself. I was really trying to prove it to other people. So I think that me doing that, it really caused um, a lot of confusion for some people. But I'll say this, though. Um, Christian hip-hop for me, um, it's not a negative thing. I don't I don't have any beef with Christian hip hop um, or that community. Uh, a lot of the artists are friends of mine, you know, um, and I'm starting to become, you know, acquainted with some of the newer artists, you know, that that from Christian hip hop that have been reaching out to me um, since I guess I've been officially back now on what I guess, phase two of my career, right? So yeah, um, I think that. Another thing that's different is our starting points in the studio or um, creatively. I think that for me, um, Christian hip hop, the starting point for many of the artists is um, how can I make a song or an album that communicates the gospel? At least that's what it was initially when I first came around. I don't really know what it was the, the agenda of Christian hip hop is now. Someone else newer could probably speak to that better than me. But when I first started, you know, taking you back into the history of my his and my history, um, it was really about um, the starting point for me was different. You know, I didn't, you know, when I made my first album and, you know, trying to figure out how I wanted to place my second album, even the, the like the starting point was me for me was, you know, how do I communicate what's on my heart right now? Um, this, it's, it's Philly. It's Philly. It's all right. You gonna, we gonna hear stuff like that. We we outside. So in Philly, West Philly in particular. So yeah, I think that the starting point for me was then and now. It's always been um, what do I want to communicate and express right now that's on my heart and and in my mind. And some everything that's on my heart and in my mind has ha, doesn't have to do with the Bible. It doesn't have to do with my faith. It may have to do. It may have to do with my family. It may have to do with my friends that I grew up with. Um, it may have to do with my community or my neighborhood that I come from or that I live in now. It may have to do with my relationship to my neighbor or my neighbors. Um, but whatever the topic of conversation is that I'm trying to communicate about, it's always run through the filter of my faith because I'm a Christian. So that being said, we've had artists who have said they're Christians, but they don't do Christian hip hop too, before me, right? But their music would never make you even think that they were a Christian, period, right? So I think that the difference for me has been um, me saying I don't do Christian hip hop is me not saying that I make music that would be deemed as against what I believe. It just means that my starting point for creativity is not, Christ is not my faith, it's not the Bible. My starting point for what what gets me going creatively um, is just what's happening around me and what, and how I want to speak to that and respond to it. Um, and that subject matter may not always be about again the Bible or about my faith or about the gospel. It may just be about my neighbors and my neighborhood, you know. And I think that some people will never get that. They'll never understand that. They have a limited way of viewing. Um, go out into all nations and preach the gospel. Um, they have a view of that that means, for some reason, when I'm being creative, I have to make sure I preach the gospel or share the gospel in, inside my creativity. Um, and, and, I, and I don't know that many other genres do that, even for the people who are Christian. There's no, even in music, there's no such thing as Muslim hip hop. There's no such thing as atheist hip hop. You know, we don't default to religion in hip hop usually. So you 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 are what you are inside of the culture. 
you know, you impact the culture and penetrate the culture with what you are and what you provide. So that's really what it's been for me. The idea to call my music Christian hip hop in short is just unnecessary. It's just an unnecessary thing that I would be doing just to prove to other people um, that I'm not ashamed of my faith. Um, and these people oftentimes when I speak to them finally, whether it be in person at a concert, over the internet and DM, or even on the phone or through email, um, I see that some of these people, even though we're both Christian by name, many of them, they don't even believe some of the same stuff, things I believe. Um, you got people who, um, I'm Trinitarian, you know, um, you know, I, I, I believe that God has predestined us. Um, so I don't really believe in the notion of the conceptual umbrella of, of free will, um, as a lot of others do. You know, I fall on the side of the church that more so um, is in line with the concept of predestination. So I'm seeing even with, within the confines of Christianity um, and people who may have pushed back for me not calling my music Christian hip hop, I have much pushback for them outside of a title, but actually about Christianity. Um, and what they claim that the Bible is communicating. So I got to the point where I stopped worrying about it. I stopped worrying about if people felt like I was ashamed of my faith or not, just because they didn't hear me consecutively talk about the gospel in my songs or in my album. Um, that's not why I started making music. And if you started making music to do that, then I would say your music is Christian hip hop. Um, but for me, my starting point was to be just cre that, a creative. It was to, to be creative. That's it. Um, I was already aware that I was a Christian, so I knew that my faith would bleed out into my music. So I never really felt the need to have to push that. You know, um, I come from a neighborhood where, uh, you know, growing up, it was kind of rough. So it's like if you, if you was on something, you couldn't just say you was on that. Really, you shouldn't even talk about it. You know what I mean? If if we see it, then we see it. Make a movie about it, right? In real life, though, in the neighborhood, that's what we did. So it wasn't about um, telling people what we are and trying to prove it to each other. We knew who we were to each other in my neighborhood. So I think I kind of took that mentality from the street and kind of brung it into, you know, hip, hip hop and music. So, and, and um, you know, long story less long, um, I, that's 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 the reason. <laughs> that's the reason why I've said um, for so long that I don't do Christian hip hop. Um, it doesn't mean that you'll never see me at a Christian hip hop event because people have, and they still will. It doesn't mean you won't see me perform at a Christian hip hop event. Doesn't mean you won't see me perform at a secular event, hip hop event. I've done both. So my thing is. I'm not here to prove or that I that I am this and I'm not this as much as I'm trying to show people what I actually am. Like I'm a creative and I'm a Christian. And there's people who do do Christian hip hop and there's people who do hip hop from the standpoint of a Christian. I'm a part of the latter. Um, but people calling my music Christian hip hop is okay. You know, I'm not pushing back. Um, at least anymore, I'm not pushing back on people calling my music that. Um, shout out to Rapzilla, they just did a, you know, a, um, a, a write up on me, um, and they said, you know, something to the effect of um, Jafia Life Christian Hip Hop Legend Returns. That's fine with me. I don't have a problem with that. I don't. It doesn't trigger me. Or anything. Actually, I'm, I'm appreciative of any platform, Christian or not, secular, Christian, Christian hip hop gospel, Christian music, whatever the case may be, because if we can get into that too in another video, the difference between Christian hip hop, Christian music, and gospel music, because those are three chambers of Christian music and they're all different. So um, yeah, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. I'm probably going to do a part two. I may even do a part three and make it a trilogy because I got some other titles and topics that I want to infuse in, you know, into this space and under the umbrella of um you know me explaining finally why i've always said i don't do christian hip-hop so i love y'all i appreciate y'all being here um like share comment subscribe um let me know what y'all think in the comments and anything else that y'all want me to tackle um in part two or any other videos so i hope this video wasn't too long i also hope that it was um effective in me 
explaining why I don't do Christian hip hop at least a little better than I have in the past. Um, and if if not, let me know that in the comments and I'll try to do better on part two. Um, so again, I appreciate y'all being here. Um, the fan is out now. We got new music coming. It's about to be a real fun rest of the year going into 2023. So I appreciate y'all. One love.